Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're in our beloved MiG-21 BIS and uh, we've got another tutorial. In fact, we're going to uh, put two tutorials into one just to save time. One is we're going to use the uh, wing-mounted gun pods and two, we're going to show you the selective jettison, how to, how to jettison the various weapon stations. So we're going to arm up. So we're going to add the gun pods on inner pylons two. That is the UKP 23250, so I'm making the assumption that it's a 23mm cannon with 250 rounds. Let me know if I've got that wrong, but I think that's right. And yeah, you're correct about that. Those 250 rounds is the same amount you have in your main gun, and that will give you about 4 seconds of total firing. Is each one a pair of cannons by the looks of the, uh, the JPEG? I uh, think so, yes. Roger. That, uh, because we're going to do jettison as well, I'm also going to add some uh, fuel tanks. And I'm going to add some just generic uh, something or others on the on the uh, the wingtips there. Stoll, can you jettison um, station six and seven? Negative. This wasn't the reason to. Roger. Okay, let's uh, arm that up. Okay, we're armed up. As you can see, we've got our uh, pods. Each pod is the 23 mil cannon, so that's pretty awesome stuff. Back inside, we can see that we've got this extra panel here. Now we've got the gun pods, so basically we want to turn the power on and leave it on until we get the status green light. We've got the next switch, which is between the uh, UPK, which is the gun pods, or the internal gun, the GSH-23. So we can use either the internal gun of the, uh, cannon of the plane, or we can use the gun pods, so we want to use the gun pods. And then we've got the same reload charging mechanism as with the main gun here. So we want to charge both guns, one, and if they jam or or something, then um, we're gonna we can use the second charge to load. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the green light to come on. Uh, let's look down at the weapons uh, stations here. The only thing to say is that we want air to air selected on this switch here. Over to the gun site, we want gun selected, not S and C. We want S instead of B. We want auto instead of manual. Uh, we've got a selector here between gyro and missile. Essentially, missile we tend to use if we're uh, attacking a ground target and generally attacking an air target, we want a gyro. Uh, anything else you can think of, Stahl? Uh, yeah, it's not necessarily air-to-air -air mode. It can be air-to-ground mode as well if you're attacking ground targets, obviously. So in practice, you set it up all the same as you would uh, your internal gun. Roger, and also we can do our wingspan selector, can't we? Uh, yes, you can also use your radar in B mode for ranging. Roger that, so we'd have our radar on here when we get going, our beam mode on there when we get going, and we can select our uh, wingspan of the hostile in meters there. I'm just going to go for 10 meters because I don't know what we're attacking. Right, guys, let's get to the runway. Portal to afterburner, and release. We. Pulling the nose off the ground. Oh, she's heavy. She's heavy. Here. Right, so we're airborne now. We've got uh, our UPK selected. We've got our green status light on. I'm going to attack a crown target. I'm going to go to missile on the gun selector. I'm going to go radar on. I'm going to go range, uh, beam range finding on. And let's, I'm going to go down and shoot a building, basically, and um, stand by. Get some height. We're just performing some more war atrocities and such. Yes, we do that. We are non-politically correct style. Interestingly, my Pipper doesn't appear to be auto-aiming. It's stuck in bore sight. Have you got that problem? Does it not, uh, does it not um, work properly with um, uh, gun pods? Um, air to air mode's a bit different if you want to... Are you sure you're not on oh, the ground? Oh, sorry, cock up. Yep. Right, I made an error there. I put it on air to air instead of air to ground, so it cocked up, obviously. So I'm going to go around and try again. Right, so I'm going to head in. Um, basically, we've got radar ranging on. So this, when this light comes on, we're, that's our launch authority, and that's our authority to fire. We're going to aim at the pipper here, and when this is on, it means that we're too close and we've got to pull out. So let's go shoot this little building here. Launch authority, please. We got it. Get some. Get some. Get some, you mother. Four cannons. That is just beautiful stuff. Very, very powerful. Let's go and do it again because that was thoroughly enjoyable. Okay, we're going for a super cap burst this time because we don't want no one left alive. 
Okay, so wait for our pepper to head up, wait for our launch authority to come on. Should have trimmed it out, but I haven't, so that's the silly cap. Let's get this chimney. Get some! Get some, you mothers! Get some! And we're out of ammo. That is one pasted target. 500 rounds of 23 Mike Mike. Okay! That's a silly cap, you still have your landing lights on. I'm a silly cap. Uh, but no one can see that, so no one cares. Right, uh, so that is using the guns, and I, I, am I right in saying I could have used it in air-to-air -air mode as well, Shaw? Absolutely, yeah, it works exactly as the internal gun does. Roger, so you can use it in air-to-air. -air. I'm not going to show you how to do that on this, because I've already done a video on air-to-air -air guns, so you can go and check that out to show the ranging and whatnot. Right, Shaw, the next thing I'm going to do is to show the folks how to jettison the various stations. So we've got the uh, the centre fuel tank, we've got the gun pods, stations one and two, and I've got a couple of bombs, stations three and four. Now I don't want to, I know you can go into the binding options and bind controls to them, but I want to show pressing the buttons on the uh, on the on the console. Is that possible? Yeah, sure. Now there's four different ones you'll have to know about. So one is directly under the gun side, a little bit off to the left. It's the big yellow cover. You roger. Uh, that, is, that is for your wing fuel tanks. Roger, right. So, um, basically this will only drop the fuel tanks if they're on those outer wing panels. I don't have fuel tanks, so I'm not going to do it. I but think that's the fuel. We'll have some on me. Stand by. Okay, so I'll drop those fuel tanks, please. Whee! Beautiful. Uh, there's another fuel tank to this one, which is at the, well, kind of halfway down the stick in the front. So it's kind of awkward to see, but you can see the green... Uh, that one's going to be hard to get to, so that one I am going to use the binding. Let me show you the binding for it. That one there, drop the centre fuel pot. I've got it bound as a button here, so I'm going to press that standby. Woo! I have got my lights on, that's silly. Next uh, weapon station drop, please. Uh, if you look directly underneath the radar, you will find two big red covers. Roger. So there's external stores on version station. Jettison, outbound or outboard and inboard. So that's pretty simple. You know, you have your one and two and your three and four pylons, and you can drop those in pairs. Roger, so I'm going to drop those bombs. Stand by, outboard, drop. Woo! Okay, that was outbound. Now let's drop our inboard. In, inboard. Yeah, there you go. And I dropped the inboard. That is me all, uh, all done, Shaw. Right, anything else about um, gun pods or uh, jettison before we sign off? Oh uh, yeah, there's always one additional way of jettisoning stuff and that's just pulling a lot of OG. Haha, <laughs> lol. What kind of G jettisons them? Uh, it's recommended to not go above 5G with heavy loads. I'm not entirely sure where the critical cut off point Oh, flight sims are such a pain in the ass. I'm going to do that. I'll just do that out of being capped all the time. What a nightmare. Okay, fair I've enough. I've done that quite a lot while doing bombing runs, you know, just try to drop two bombs and accidentally drop all four when you're putting out. Lols. Right, so remember, don't go above 5G if you've got bombs on, otherwise they're just going to drop. Right, I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful. We will see you later.